I did ask me an account to send you message. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways. Y'all ready for an island vacation with a homicidal teddy bear? I'm not. Oh, please tell me this isn't lagging again like last time. First time I did this, it fucking, like... There was a lag spike that caused everything to be delayed. God damn it! Alright. How do I skip this? Fuck. Alright. <laughs> Alright. That's adorable. Look at those little sprites! Oh no! The girl! He's gone! Oh no, there's a new one. Cool. Um, give me a second. I need to fix something. Okay. Shit. Thanks, Avast. Thank you. Alright. I guess until I get my new PC, I'm gonna have to stick with the high anti-aliasing. Which sucks! But fuck it. If it means I get to play an amazing game, then... I'll deal with it. Is it doing it again? I don't think so. I legitimately can't tell if this is, like, lagging or not. Because in the original... It would say Danganronpa right as the logo popped up. I don't know if that's the same here. Sonia? So did that say Sonia? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Kazinga Soda. <laughs> what are these names? Nagatsu. Oh god. Nekomar. I can't read half of these. Ibuko. Ibuki. Peko. Pesto. Whatever the fuck. He got. Me got nah. Hey, they look cool. They're Japanese, you dingus. Well, I know that! Okay, no, yeah, no, it's fine. It's- it, that's the intended frame rate. I got paranoid over nothing. We're fine. But seriously though, this- compared to the first game, this is- this title screen is actually kind of adorable. It's just the sp- OH NO! NOT AGAIN! <laughs> hey, it's another one. Apparently in the anime world, getting a new girlfriend is- Nah, I'll shut up. I'll just shut up now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's just start this thing. Of course I'm gonna go with English. I, I love the cheesiness of English. Increase the limit for those who want to enjoy the story. Perfect for those good at solving mysteries. Yeah, I'm not good at solving mysteries. I don't know what you were trying to say there, but I like it. And unfortunately, I turned off chat, so I can't. Oh. I can, but everything's dark. What's going on? Oh, hi. I think I am. I mean, I'm alive. I don't know what you're talking about, but all right. Could you be more specific? I mean, I hear the ocean. I'm talking to you. Can you not hear me? Is my mouth not moving? Am I just speaking in my head? Am I just, am I just like, 
like moving my arms and like pretending to speak when my mouth's not moving. Is that what's going on here? Oh, never mind. I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I just have to remember that first. I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Ah, oh, we're going. Kanye West, he lie. Uh, God. <laughs> no! Stop that! No! No fingers and butts! No! Bad Kanye! Bad! Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, we're back to this type of writing. Think, 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 think. <laughs> That, that wasn't supposed to make me laugh. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right. I... I... I'm the father. Uh, what's going on? Um... What's going on? Dangaromba 2, Goodbye Despair. Okay. Is this some kind of meta game? Oh, I forgot to turn on the audio. Fuck! No! No, you didn't hear anything. God, I'll add the f audio in post. God damn it! That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was the day that felt truly significant. There's some hair on my mic. Hold on. And when that long-awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? And actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Oh, God, it's the murder school. Hope's Peak Academy. Um. Yeah, um. What the fuck? That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will long join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will love to join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. It's kind of ironic they mentioned baseball players first, considering, um, what happened in the last game. Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elitists of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope, and in doing so, shape the future. Whenever Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, If you come here and manage to grad- <clears throat> If you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life! And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of this school. Five, to be exact. Well, that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. I don't understand what's going on. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Is anyone else getting deja vu? Is it not just me? Also, am I yelling too loud? I hope not. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. And that is how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I finally go into Hope's Peak Academy, the school is I desire more than anything else. Sorry it took me a while, my wife isn't co-op- My wife isn't cooperating and I burned my fingers with- Your wife?! What do you mean, your wife?! Sorry about that, Lee. The truth is, my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Well, I guess I can put it that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth talking about. I think. <laughs> anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. <clears throat> I'm a 
so special that I have to introduce myself. And formalities are always a little embarrassing. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. Wasn't there a character? Hold on, I need to check something real quick. I th I forgot to check before going on the stream, but hold on, give me a second. Oh no no no! For some reason, I thought that Kyoko. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, that's Komatsu's. Kom. Who's boyfriend? There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy, because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. Okay then. White-haired man. All right. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why to feel like a member of society. <laughs> ah, oh, whoa! Wow. What the fuck? I always wanted to. Uh, what? What? What's going on? For that reason alone, I always wanted to. For that reason alone, I was. Always, 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 Ways until now, I wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why... Hope... What the hell is going on? I might have admired tal talented individuality, but I have finally forever tried my best. Finally can't... What is going on? This is a far cry from the first game. Huh? What? Is this? It's a yeah. Great news, Sherlock. Where are we? There's a door. Still, I need to hurry. Hurry to what? You're in the void of the Matrix. I don't think there's anywhere else you can go. Because I need to go inside this class. Sorry, Bean. I don't know what's going on. Need? What? Need? No, I should hurry. What the fuck is going on? Oh, wait! Okay. This is actually... Oh! Hi! This is actually normal! Also, your mic is acting up. It sounds kind of weird. How does it sound weird? Huh? <clears throat> Who goes there? I goes here, apparently. I mean, I haven't seen the sun in a couple years, so that could be it. Um. Hey, could you be? You're also a freshman at this school, right? Yeah. Also, what? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, then you're all. See for yourself. We're all freshmen too. These guys. Everyone. The freshmen who are accepted into Hope Speak Academy. The Ultimates? I assume freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered? Hm. Oh! Hi, Byakuya! <laughs> How are you doing? When did you get fat? I can. I cannot with this fucking lag. That's alright, Bean. You don't have to stay if it's bothering you. Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Eh? Ah, yes, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. Thus to hide my nervousness from the others, and while trying my very best to act cool... I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is weird. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here, and then the classroom door appeared right in front of me. 
as if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. Um, excuse me? What? What is it? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so is there like an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? Hm. Actually, we we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? It's all clear. Well, since you are the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. <laughs> I s Why is Byakia fat? <laughs> eh? Is this everyone? How do you know? There are only 16 desks in this classroom, and this guy is the 16th student. Such it's obvious if you bother to think about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, <clears throat> and just what are we going to talk about? The reason we're all gathered here in this classroom? First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? <clears throat> eh? We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. Oh. Oh, shit. There's a bot. Hold on. Bot. We got a bot. God damn it. Uh, alt tab, damn it. Let me alt tab. How do I report? There's always got to be the inevitable bot. Yeah. Bye. All right. How do I delete this message? How do I delete this message? How do I delete this? God, I can't get rid of this stupid bot. Or at least the fucking message it sent. There we go. Okay. Wait, what? There we go. Jesus. All right. Sorry. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Anyways, a surprise look. A surprise look appeared. On yeah, I read this. So before you realize it, you were in this classroom. Then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid-looking ones would agree, right? What's going on? It sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey! Hey! What do you mean, stupid-looking? So in other words... The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness, and now you're here and don't know why. <laughs> that is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true for all of you? That's happened to me too, but... Huh? Huh? That dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness? That's weird. Even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence then? <clears throat> well, yes, that's literally what they're saying. Hmm? So in other words, Meaning, we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? <sighs> We're going back to this shit again? <sighs> what is it? It feels like this is going to be even stranger. Ha! <laughs> I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Huh? What do you mean? So what I mean, I mean is... It <laughs> and here we have Mondo 2.0. I mean, it's a minor problem. 
Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. Huh? What do you mean we can't leave? <laughs> Seriously? I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... It won't open! I can't open it! Huh? Huh? Why? A little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go and take a shit. But that door wouldn't budge at all! Hey, hey! Hey, hey! What's going on? Jeez. Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. What? <laughs> Hi, Junko. Junko. Who the fuck your name is? Eh? What do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible! It could be locked. She's right! It's impossible! There's a lock! You ever heard of locks? There could be a lock! Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. Oh. Alright. Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. There's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. We li <sighs> We just discussed that! My fucking god. Locked inside? What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. As though a feeling of unspeakable dread became settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? Maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? This is... Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the entrance exam? But this school doesn't have entrance exams. The entrance exam? You mean Hope's Peak Academies? This school doesn't have an entrance exam. Had a sip. However, but according to Hope's Peak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. Yeah, that's what I said. But they may have said say that publicly, but it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. That's wrong. Ah, hey, you're wrong. This is not an entrance exam. What's going on? What? What was that just now? Hey, bastard! Hey, fat ass! Why'd you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Huh? And whose is it? Um... Actually, it's mine! Who's there? <laughs> Fucking voice! Who's there? Where are you? Perhaps... It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Oh god, is this who I think it is? Behind the teacher's desk? Hello! I'll take that as a yes! Alright! I see everyone has arrived! Let's begin! Oh! What is that? Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right! I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal! This is a far cry from Monokuma. Magical miracle girl Usami, aka Usami. I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. Nice to meet you all! Okay, then. Huh? Uh huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? What's going on? Nah, I see it too. Huh? What's with this talking chihuahua? <laughs> That's a chihuahua? Everyone. Does everyone here know what a rabbit is? Apparently not. It's a love. It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am! A singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot! Hold on! Let me just process this first. Okie dokie! Um, um, what do you guys think? Uh, I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. <laughs> it's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like such a pussy over a child's toy. Jeez, dude. He's just asking a question. Hmm. Even if it's remote controlled, it doesn't look too life- Doesn't it look too lifelike? It's pretty advanced for a toy. Its movement and mannerisms are not an issue. 
More importantly, based on what it just said, it seems you know something about our current situation. Leave it to me. <clears throat> of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. School trip? Come on. Hey, what do you mean school trip? <clears throat> a large group of students go on a chaperone trip with a. Sorry. A large group of students go on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher. Lee! God damn it, my voice! I'm sorry. I haven't spoken in a while. Really changing my vocal cords. It's the biggest event of the school year. We're not looking for. S we are not looking for such a literal answer. Now let's depart for the fun school trip! Depart? This is weird! Oh! Oh, okay! What the fuck? Huh? I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set and what appeared before me instead was... Blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves. What the hell is this? I don't know, man. No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy! Completely wrong! Oh my god, what the fuck? Did y'all see that seagull? <laughs> Jesus. Um. Whoa, what? Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? Emergency. Where are we? Uh, that cannot be pretty. Why? What's going on? Everyone. Everyone, please stay calm. There's no reason to panic. See? Look around! Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart's being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything. Even all the bad things. Like the blood. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Give us the details. Where in the world are we? Um... Where are you at? Well, obviously we're... <laughs> out where it's better! Out where it's wetter! Under the sea! By the oh, out by <laughs> the game knew I was gonna say that. Hi, Mina. How you doing? Out by the sea. <laughs> I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? Um, you know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. You're a little late for that. My throat's already dead the moment I got here. <clears throat> but we were just at school, and now we're by the sea. This is impossible. Please do not worry. The school trip has just started, that's all. Hold on a sec. Oh, damn. But, like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. She's right. We're all supposed to be attending Hope's Peak Academy. I see. Ah, Hope's Peak Academy. I see, I see. You don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope's Peak Academy. Then in that case... Please forget about Hope's Peak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place! I don't know what's going on. Huh? Bastard! 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 I can't get their voice. The hell do you mean we should forget about it? Come on. Hey, what are you... What are you? Just what are you scheming? Oh, uh, what? I'm not scheming anything! I'm just... I'm doing this for everyone's sake! I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. No problem. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Whatsoever. So please, there's no need to worry at all. Wait. Island? Did you just say island? Ta -da! Yep, and it's certainly beautiful. I really hope you don't make a habit of repeating exactly what I said. Please, please don't. It was prepared just for us, and not only free from other people in danger. Are you saying... This island is inhabited? Could it be? Yes. I said don't make a habit of repeating me. Perhaps. You brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other? Hello, what? Kill each other? Yes. No, no way! Bloody business like causing violence or inflicting pain is a big no-no on this island. 
Even the word kill, just saying it horrifies me. What's going on? Yeah, it's so scary! What are you thinking? Then, what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend to do to us on this island? Alrighty, I shall announce this to everyone right now. While you're all relaxed on this island in paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That is the main rule of the heart-throbbing school trip. Heart-throbbing school trip? Jesus Christ, you kids are thick. That's right. And I don't mean like you're fat. Because I know you're fat. I mean thick in the skull. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing around, free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovey-dovey heart-throbbing school trip is... Everyone's homework! What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then... Let the heart-throbbing school trip begin! It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. Yeah, I agree. I couldn't follow her words at all. Then just like that, like a certain... Like a curtain slowly lowering. Ugh. My mind ground to a halt. <clears throat> Ooh! Huge panic at the heart of what the fuck? This is so weird. What is going on? <laughs> I mean, I like it, but like, what's what the fuck is happening? <laughs> the fuck? Oh. Welcome to Dangan Island. Are you- what did I say? I'm so confused. Oh! I'm confused. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Huge panic at the heart throbbing school trip. I guess I guess we'll save. What the fuck? Hey. Oh, hey dude. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. This time. Are you okay? More or less. You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also No, everyone else feels the same too. I can understand why. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Mm-hmm. Hey. Are you listening? Yes, I'm listening! Hey. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. There's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. I mean, you're like, you're one to talk. Also, the lighting is already amazing. White sandy beats, crystal blue ocean. The sun's rays beating down on me. This soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. I suppose to attend Hope's Peak Academy. And I was supposed to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Why did this? Why am I here at this place? Why am I here at a place like this? That's what I was trying to say. That rabbit thing said we we're on a tropical island. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dangan Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. With the mouse, you can maneuver the reticle on the screen. With the reticle responds, press the left mouse button. Yep. You can examine the person or object. You can also shift the point of view with WASD. Plus, if you press the tab key, yep. Basic stuff we've already known. Please search the speech as thoroughly as to and progress the story. Oh my god, what the f- Why? <laughs> Is this just a tradition to in every Danganronpa game for the mouse sensitivity to be absolutely horror horrible? God, that noise when, when examining is way better. The crystal clear shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. <clears throat> what's going on here? 
I never wanted anything like this at all. Is that a camera? Yes, it is. A surveillance camera? Are we being monitored or something? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. You seem pretty sus, I'm just saying. What's with this guy? How could he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's such a chill guy. I can imagine so. Why is there a monitor in this place like this? Ooh, excuse me. The screen is blank. What was it being used for? I guess it makes sense for there to be a palm tree on a tropical island. That's a mighty fine palm tree, but now's not the time for me to be impressed by it. <clears throat> so, are you feeling? How are you feeling? Are you calm down now? Um, I understand you're confused after everything that's happened, but why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction. I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you too. You're still sus. This guy's the ultimate lucky student? What the fuck? That's weird. Ah, along with my introduction, I guess I'll also tell you about my talent so you know why Hope Speak Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least, that's what I'm called anyways. Ultimate lucky student? You're right. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend. Hope Speak Academy is the ultimate lucky student. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery. <laughs> Is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? I mean, Makoto was able to use luck pretty well, so I assume yes. How strange. What happened? Your face looks troubled. Oh no, I'm not troubled or anything. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this too. Like I never thought an average, talentless high school student like me would ever enter Hope Speak Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it, but they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. You should have seen the last guy. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. Hope's Peak Academy is amazing if they actually research something as vague as luck. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope's Peak Academy, so for that I'm grateful. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. Uh, sorry. I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Hey, me too! We're one and the same! Um, yeah. I guess that's it for my introduction. Nagito Komaida. How? I've already forgotten how he pronounced his last name. God damn it, I'm sorry. He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hmm. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm Hajime Hinata. Then, let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I... 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 Opened my mouth, but the words would, would not form. I felt my thoughts stalling in my head. As if I opened a book expecting to find words and instead found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Huh? Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Hajime, what happened? I... It's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. I'm sure you'll remember soon once you've settled down. So, I don't think you need to worry about it at all much. All that much. You're... 
You're right. Yep. Then I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Obtain the hope fragment. Hey, did something just beep? What a weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand into my pocket. That's right. A strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from the inside of my pocket. <laughs> They're actually acknowledging this. What the fuck is going on? Oh, okay. What the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. Why is something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? Usami was passing them out earlier, remember? <laughs> oh, right. You seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember, but... What is this? <clears throat> it's an e-handbook! What the... Where'd you come from? I'm sorry. Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Tee I know how to apologize like a good girl. That's weird. Um... Anyway, don't you think it's cool? The ha handbook is absolutely vital for you this school trip. So make sure you don't lose it. This device is that important? I shall explain. I've asked everyone to use their e-handbook to gather all of the hope fragments. Hope fragments? That's right. Um, on this island, you obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Surely that is the main purpose of this school trip. Hey! I'm seriously confused. She's gone. A stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears wherever and whenever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was that about all that about Hope's fragments? What's her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. How meta. If this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. I beg to differ. Y you're probably right, but... More importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. Excuse me. Then, I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. And that's also true, but... Where did everyone go? Perhaps... Maybe they're exploring the island as well. Exploring the island? As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? This seems... Is anyone else getting deja vu? I feel like I'm getting deja vu. So, why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? I'm pretty much... I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. So he's decided to come with me. That's literally what I just said, dude. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. All right. Shall we get going then? But is this really okay? To feel so relaxed in such a strange situation. Perhaps this is this the tropical climate? Or is that... What's her name? Yus Yusami's fault? What is it, Hajime? Let's keep going. Uh, right, got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Oh, it's gonna start. Just give it a bit of time. I just spilled water on myself. Sheesh, what kind of nightmare is that? You are not able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various information throughout the game. You can open the handbook with the F1. I seriously hate it when games use like the F the F keys, like F1, 2, and that. Seriously. It includes the guidelines for the school trip and the report card, which documents everyone's information. There are various features inside the handbook. My throat is killing me. You can also save and load your game inside the handbook. Please check the system. Yep, I know this. There's more. Transcript. Yes, F2. I, I got that. Yeah, I know. I've done this before. Don't worry. Yes, let's go. Ah, about exploring the island. 
It appears a map of this island has been installed on our handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find every- uh, find- I got an accident there for a second. You should be able to find everyone else, easily. Actually, to be honest, before I arrived at this school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Seriously, is anyone else getting deja vu? I feel like I'm in the, in the shoes of some everyone else, of someone else who's dealt with this. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? Eh? Eh? You don't know? The school is so popular, there are message boards online dedicated to talking about the students. When... Then, was I also... I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. Or you're basically that one girl, Kyoko. Doing this... Hello there, Special Edition Tactician. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I won't expect it. Well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake. I was accepted into Hope Speak Academy. Yep. Anyway, I'll help you out too, so why don't we begin making your introductions? Uh, okay, you're right. So first I need to introduce myself to everyone else on this island. Then... Then... Oh, why did you forget? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. This is my first time playing this this specific game, yeah. I already finished the first game on stream, um, I think last week, if I remember correctly. I'm just kind of see what's going on. If you look at the map, you hand look, you'll be able to get everyone is. Instantly travel, yep, yeah, yeah, we know. I've done this before. It's around a boxy school, but regardless, yeah, I've done this before. Travel on the island can be done through this screen. You can move with the WASD keys. You can run with the shift key while you move. Q and E, you can also instantly move to the next area. What's going on? When the reticle responds, you can go inside places by pressing the left mouse button. You've probably realized by, it by now, but you have access to your... I have a Tamagotchi? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> the first game was already... Amazing in my opinion. And from what I've heard is this game is like just the first game but better. So that's pretty cool. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take, so try walking to places instead of just map jumping. I've already done that in the first game, but seriously, what's going on? The first game had like a first person radical, so I don't I don't know why this is happening. When you first raise your pet, there may be a small reward. Okay. Oh, Oh, that's cool! <laughs> that's neato. Ow, Jesus Christ! I was trying to actually enter the damn thing. Jeez. It's considered the best one in the series. Don't you buy the reviews on Steam? I... <laughs> I can see. I can see. I can... I, I can... Uh, I, I can't speak! But I understand what you're saying. <laughs> this is an airport, right? So those things over there must be airplanes. Airplanes? Yes, airplanes. Couldn't we just use those planes to escape this island? Uh. Nah, that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them. But it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show? Man. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Dude, I just said that. Whoever brought us to this island must have also done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal, Usami. But who was doing this? Why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how do they how do they do it? And what? And who? When? Why? More so by the fan base. That makes sense. The more I think about it, the less it makes sense. That's right. Oh, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet you. I still can't get over the fact that his last name is Soda. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. He also looks like he also looks like Leon if he was if he got into punk rock. And I love it. 
As expected from someone called the Ultimate Mechanic, Kazuchi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. <laughs> Leon was into punk rock, though. I was not aware of that. I knew he was trying to get into music after he quit baseball. Did not know he was into punk rock, though. If he says it's impossible to fix the plane, it's truly beyond repair. Hey. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close. Yeah, it's pretty... Hmm? This character design is based off the lead singer of Sex Pistols? Wait, there's a band called Sex Pistols? I gotta look this up! I'd rather have mac and cheese or tater tots, but... Oh! Hold on. Freaking dad's sex to me. Yeah, it's like from like the 70s. I was not aware of that. Hold on, I'm gonna just, give me a second. I really gotta see this. English punk rock band formed in London in 1979. Well, that's cool. I'll look up more information after I finish the stream. Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? I don't think the planes having their engines removed is really a good thing. Like, that seems a little suspicious, I'm just saying. Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Yeah. I just, I'm still trying to decide a voice for all these characters, I'm sorry. Coming from the last game, I... <laughs> I just... I'm still trying to... Bleh, still trying to get comfortable into how they speak and what they sound like. Now, as mentioned in the safe deep precautions for the school trip. Remember? The school trip guidelines written on the e-handbook? I haven't looked at the damn thing. Extreme violence is prohibited on the school island. Peace. Please live peacefully and relax. Sing. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. I can't read, apparently. Rule 2. Be considerate to each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with the island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. I wish humans did that. I wish I wish humanity did that in general. Rule 4. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. <clears throat> God, my throat. For now. It looks like we're being kept safe. So why wouldn't it be you like any other school trip. There's something dangerous on this island. Sp spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. Or nothing, there's nothing. I, I thought, <laughs> God damn it! I can't read. Just as Usami said earlier, it seems these rules are in place to keep us to do that. Uh, help us do that, fuck. <laughs> are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know. But Don't be such a pessimist. Even though I said I usually see things through the lens of a pessimist, I'm going to tell you to not be a pessimist. Seriously, it sucks. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know? Optimism is essential for people to live satisfying lives. That's right. Well, I guess, well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation, see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> <laughs> if, you start, if you stare closely at this strange-looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. I'm actually jealous of how carefree these he's at being right now. Another hope fragment. Nice. Oh. Oh. Hi. Did I approach you incorrectly? I was just trying to say hi. Stop right there. If you value your life, do not come any closer. <laughs> yeah. I heard he's I heard he really likes hamsters apparently. Huh? I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. I was just trying to say hi, dude. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as recklessness. However, I welcome it. Listen well. <laughs> <laughs> In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. Got it memorized? 
I hope so, because I don't. At least the pronunciation, anyways. The ultimate breeder. Yeah! <laughs> That's cool. Rule this world? Nah, apparently that's Byakuya. He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious, that's pretty out there. Let me ask. Now then. <clears throat> I can't really have it. I can't really do a voice as deep as his, so I just gotta compromise. I'm sorry. Now then. It is my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Eh? Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me! Huh? What do you mean, pact? And... <laughs> I can see why you love this dude. Answer me now, though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Then it's best if I don't answer. Perhaps? I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. Pet? No, the only animal I've taken care of is a hermit crab. Passed away in ele around elementary school. Impossible. So, a mere insect. Hey! I take offense to that, asshole! Face your powerlessness! Ha! Your magic essence caps as a lowly five. Trash! T trash? Really? Kneel. <laughs> I will not kneel! <laughs> is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me. My name is oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Who do you think I am? I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, supreme overlord of ice. Hold on a minute! Something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! <laughs> oh, it's quite an adorable little empire. I want to paint. Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. It's like something you'd see on a nature show. I guess he's totally fits the bill for the ultimate breeder. <laughs> what are my four dark divas of destruction? Mirage Goldenhawk, Jumpy, has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You would like us if we're angry. <laughs> <laughs> I love this dude! <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah. I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. Frickin' saliva. I heard he can tame any animal and even manage to succeed at pro- Proliferating? Is that what that says? Proliferating an endangered species. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals. Only certainly eccentric enough to not regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. So, fun fact, in the Japanese version, he has 12 hamsters, and they're all called his 12 Zodiac Generals. That, that is amazing! <laughs> oh my god, I love that. That's, that's freaking amazing. That's freaking amazing. <laughs> Oh my god. Even if we're being monitored for our own safety. <coughs> we're still being watched all the same. It's not really a good feeling. Alright. I just want to make sure there's no mono coins. Or any coins in general. Just as I thought. A blank screen. Doesn't look like a normal television. Seriously, what the heck is that? Alright. Let's go to the next area, I guess. I don't know why I'm not fast traveling, but I'm just soaking in the visuals. Unfortunately, I had to uh, turn on anti-aliasing because my PC kind of struggles when I try to run this game at its normal graphics. I can't speak. You get what I'm saying? My PC's old. I'm trying to wait for my new one that I ordered. <clears throat> so sorry if everything looks pixely. My god, my throat. <clears> throat> Oh god, that vending machine. So, this is the supermarket. It's pretty big. We're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in 
International waters? You're right. Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food and other necessities for a while. For a while? It's just a figure of speech. This dude's sus. And I think I might have gotten his twist spoiled for me when I look up the trailer on Steam for Despair Girls, but regardless... He's sus. But there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if I'll... Oh, wait, no. <laughs> well, there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if it's all this... What if all this stuff is poisoned? What? Hmm? You certainly are the skeptical type. Of course I am! Even this supermarket is strange. Look around! We're in this giant supermarket and there's nobody else here except us! Well, that can't be helped. Didn't Usami say this island is uninhabited? Why would there be a supermarket if that's the case? Like, would this be a tourist attraction? Then, then that doesn't really make it uninhabited. That's exactly my point! Ah. Uh, what happened? It's nothing. Oh, hi! I saw you on a post on Instagram where you were cocking a gun. Are you gonna be one of the blackened? Don't spoil it for me, please. I want to figure that out for myself. She's staring at me funny. Um. Uh, uh, um, um, you know. Are you okay? Uh, oh god, what did I do? Why is she crying? Hajime. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. I didn't even do anything! I just looked at her! I didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, so your name is Hajime. If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Uh, of course. I don't mind you remembering it, but... My, my name is Mikan Sumiki. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. I like this one. She's adorable. The ultimate nurse. Um, you know, um, 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 uh, my mind is drawing a blink from nervousness, and I went through all the trouble of preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss after introductions. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time and remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. Agreed. Yeah, I say stay away from anywhere that shows Danka Rumpa related content. Stuff that stuff can get spoiled easily. Yeah, I would know. When I was playing the first game, I was like scrolling through my YouTube recommendations, and there was and some dipshit put put a spoiler in their thumbnail for who the mastermind was. I was pissed. I think it was like um. It was like a wacky racist meme where the mastermind and Monokuma were replacing Dick Dastardly and his dog, and I just... My god! <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> Is he just putting more pressure on her? Isn't... I don't see how. I got spoiled the same way. Yeah, seriously. I didn't watch it, but still, it's just like, my god. And then it only got worse as I was scrolling through TikTok. Like, I... My God. Just... Jesus. Well, I guess I'll ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so... What's her deal? Oh, wait, no, that was me! What's her deal? Uh, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help. So it's best if you get along with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something so morbid so naturally. Ah. I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. It's just, I can't help it. I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Not that you actually want to be friends with me. I'm so sorry. I said something so presumptuous. I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. By the way, I'd also stay off of YouTube while you're playing this. There's a video that comes up in people's recommendation that stays that says the name of one of the black in, in its freaking title. Yeah, there was also a uh, a video I saw. I didn't watch it, but it was like I saw the thumbnail. It was like why people hate third cases in Danganronpa. 
and it showed two of the characters. I really hope they're not the black and otherwise is I'm gonna have spoilers for the third game as well. So that's gonna be that's gonna be fucking great. Man. Bullying it, girl. Not cool, Ajime. Seriously, why does this keep happening? I'm sorry. I'm so so sorry. You're fine. You didn't even do anything. Oh my god, I got level two. That's amazing. Wait a minute. Is that just the background of the... Is that the background noise of the... It always makes the... It makes like a beeping sound every time I turn the camera. I can't tell if that's like someone scanning products or something like that. Hi. Hello. Oh, hi! Who are you? Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. And I'm Evan. Hello! <clears throat> Hello! Your tension is super low! Are you feeling alright? Oh. Ah, that's right! Introductions are a go go! Hi! <laughs> Not get to bullying a girl. Not cool game. Way to go, level up! Also, best girl. I can I definitely like her energy, that's for sure. Ultimate musician. Nice! Yes! Alright! Introductions are finished! More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket! I see. They got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta. Ooh, melons! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay then! <laughs> Ibuki is the ray of sunshine we all need in our life. I can see why, but what the fuck is going on here? What just happened? Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and any people from Yubari would shop here. Yahoo! Oh wait, I was right that. Man, I'm getting hella stoked! I'm 31 flavors of stuff for all this deliciousness! I can't voice act. And when I get excited, I get hungry mungry! I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> <laughs> the human body sure is a mystery. <laughs> um, this energetic lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an all-girl band and was super popular with other high school girls. <clears throat> Apparently, their hit single, After School Poya. Poya. Po How the hell do you pronounce that? Poy. Poyoyan? Poyoyan Hour sold over a million copies. The super popular all girl high school band. You got. It. Okay, yeah. Thank you, thank you. That sounds familiar. Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Are you interested? What? You can hear me? Dude, we were standing right next to her. Of course she can hear you. <laughs> Duh. Ibuki is a musician after all. Ibuki. Sorry. Guitar. Like Super, Bash, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, and Senna. I'd probably butcher that nicely, but regardless, I too am an awesome musician. Oh, so you're saying you have a good hearing. Wait, most of those people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. Don't sweat the details. Another fragment. Anywhere else I can interact with? Oh, Christ. That's a lot of places. Holy shit. So these are military goods, huh? They even carry night vision goggles. I want those. I can't believe the supermarket even sells stuff like this. <clears throat> you always gotta make sure you explore thoroughly. For secrets. Just as I thought. A blank screen. Doesn't look... Okay, yeah, I've read that before. <clears throat> my god, my throat. It's a surfboard. That's being, that being said, I'm not in the mood for water sports. Okay, how about this? Looks like a vending machine, but... It doesn't look seem to accept money. Do I have to use some type of coin? Yes, mono coins. That's why I'm looking around. Some of the people she mentioned are also at death. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I don't really know my history very well, so I wasn't able to... 
I didn't really get that. Monitor for safety. Yep. Okay. Anything else? That's one big cola bottle. I want it. And and the packet of peppermints, please. Or breath mints. Whichever one makes the soda go kablooey. I let it go flat before you could even finish drinking it. Ment yeah, Mentos, that's what it was. Thank you. <clears throat> oh man, I can only remember that in the chicken ball Coca-Cola. I can remember like what the what the kit what the thing you used to make it explode. <laughs> can you tell I'm not good at speaking? <laughs> Hotel site. Whoa! Oh, I thought I was gonna go back into first person mode for this section. God damn it. Whoa. This is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps the Hotel Mirai, huh? It looks like it's named from the, the Japanese word for future. When we were told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have to pitch the tent or something. I'm glad. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, excuse me. Hey, words are hard. Fair enough. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. You don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. Also, I thought this was like a school ship. If we're living here, it doesn't... <laughs> fuck it. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Hey. Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a good base. So why don't we look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? He's sus. It's like he doesn't think this situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? No, he's probably just chill. I mean, he's still suspicious, but regardless. A map has been dis... dis a map will be displayed if you press the tab key. Wait a goddamn minute. I said the tab key, don't make me repeat myself. I know. Oh, it's first person again! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love this. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh my god. I don't know why I'm so excited about this, but I am. Hey, Nagi... Nagi... I'm glad. How do I pronounce your name? If you can live in a grand... Oh, yeah, we've already said that. Oh, shit, what? What's going on? Oh, yeah, the pet. This hope meter and despair meter. Oh, God. Oh. I... Uh, I forgot I had to take care of a Tamagotchi. So, wait, why was the... Why was the... Why was it beeping? I... I don't understand. What the hell? Like, was there something there? Like... Didn't seem like the, the pet had anything wrong going on. Like poop or anything. But seriously, why do you do that? I'm confused. I don't know why it was beeping then, but it usually beeps when there's a level up or a stat change. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Maybe it, maybe I managed to make it grow. Hey, dude, how you doing? <clears throat> oh, that's amazing. It's like a little... Oh, I forget what they're called. It's like those It's like those things with the weight on the bottom. If you try and tap them, like, knock them over, it's just, they just, like... You, you know. You know. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass. Uh, don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass. This guy's already in a crappy mood. You? What are you looking at? You got something you want to say, bastard? First of all, I'm looking at you, and yes, I do have something to say. Hello, nice to meet you. Now, now. Relax, Fuyuhiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. I probably butchered that. Huh? What? Introduce yourselves? Hey. See? You haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? <laughs> Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. Considering the situation you're in, I really don't blame you. 
The ultimate, the ultimate Yakuza, what the fuck? <laughs> and I thought Pyakia was bad enough, <laughs> Jesus. Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. Fuyu, Fuyu he goes. Ah, God damn it. It's gonna take me forever to get used to that name. He's a high school student and the heir to it. To the Kuzu, Kuzu, Kuzu. Kuzu, Kuzuryo clan? Kuzuryu? I can't, I don't know. <laughs> eh? The Kuzuryu clan? Don't tell me he's... Yep. I'm sure you've at least heard of them before, right? The Kuzuryu clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership surpassing 30,000. Which means, he's the ultimate Yakuza. The, the heir to a Yakuza clan, and it's THE Kuzuryu clan, no less! Actually... By the way, Mentioning his baby face around him is expressively forbidden, so you better be careful. Oh, well, it's a good thing I didn't say it out loud, then. You'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. I am fairly certain that's not gonna happen. That was close. I nearly lost all my fingers. And Nagito, you're like my savior or something. <laughs> you're just exaggerating. I uh, guess not. Hey, bastard. Hi! Hey, bastard! If we're all done here, how about you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? Futurama reference! Why does Hope Speak recognize Ultimate Biker Game Leader and Ultimate Yakuza as a legit talent? I don't know, but I mean, I liked Mondo. Fair enough, but Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna back away slowly. Help me! Help me, please! Hey! Hey, aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Uh, yeah. Boy, hey. Right? Okay. Hey, you gotta keep it together, you know? At times like this, it's the boys' job to keep the girls safe. Shove it up your ass! No, she's not right! That's bullshit! Yeah, yeah. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? The ultimate photographer. I don't know why, but I thought she'd be the ultimate florist. Actually, my hero is known as the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future as a photojournalist. I'm not expecting an expert photo. Sorry. From a Japanese point of view, she's right. I mean, I guess maybe, but still, <laughs> doesn't make it any less outdated. I think mean, <sighs> I'll just shut up now. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photo- She's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. Sorry, I guess this, the rays of sunlight are giving me a stroke. On that note, she's also known for her skill at taking pictures of people. If I- if I do that, if I'm not paying attention, I'll just sound like my old man voice. <clears throat> the ultimate photographer, huh? Oh, well, there is a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assume- is there? Oh, it's like that's okay. I didn't see the. Hold on, let me have, tap out of the game real quick. What is that? I gotta see this. Oh shit! Up, up, up! PC, PC, keep it together. Oh god! I tried clicking on the cliff and oh god! Oh god! Oh my god, I tried opening the, the tab and... Okay, sorry. Ah, technical difficulties. I think... <laughs> I think Firefox is breaking. Cancel. Yes, yes, there we go. Okay. Let's see. Sorry, sorry. I never really- I don't really get clips at all, so... Sorry. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Hmm? Decent? <laughs> oh, God. No worries. Thank you. Well, there's a lot of weirdos here. Can't tell if they're all really ultimates or, like, just insane. 
You'd be surprised. I'm here to get along with everyone so we can get off this island, but I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? You don't know? That's what that stuffed animal you saw me was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone, this joke of a school ship will be over, and we can all leave this island together. That's all we have to do, to and we can go home? Is that true? Did she really mean that? Jeez. Hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is, like, really important. Sorry for having a panic attack on the beach, bud. Hey. Hey, Hajime. Hey, Hajime. Now that you know... Ah, give me a second. Now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. Even so... What's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort to bringing us here so we can all live together and get along... It doesn't make any sense. I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. I'm glad. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal? Really? We were, we're told we're on a school trip without any warning. Then we're taken to a place like this. And then we're told to forget about Hope Speak Academy? Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey. Hi. Eh? You. Don't M me. What, we, what about your introduction? I've been waiting like forever, you know. Uh, sorry. I'm Hajime Hinata. Um, it's nice to meet you, too. I'm Evan. Hmm. I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? Too bad. Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as the unreliable Hajime. Thanks! Glad we're getting along just fine. You better do your best. It's gonna be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. Or you can shove it! <laughs> I see you're wiped already, Hajime. I'm talking to both of you! You better man up and do better, got it? I'll do whatever I do, well, please! <clears throat> hey, give her a chance, it's her birthday. <laughs> Alright, fine, I'll cut her some slack. Oh god, the sensitivity. I accidentally- Ah! Fuck! There we go. Okay, jeez. Hello! You seem nice enough. You're real clear- You're, you're real- you rook. <laughs> you rook really cool. I tried to suck like Scooby Doo for a second there. Sorry. Just now. Hi. That's right. You haven't told me your name. Oh. My name. I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. Why do I get the feeling they reused that pose from Mondo? The ultimate team manager. Um, hello, I'm Hajime Hinata. Your voice is too soft. What? Hold it right there! Your voice is too soft! Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach! I think I'd rather give my vocal cords a rest, thanks. The ultimate JoJo reference! <laughs> I still need to watch JoJo. I've only watched the first episode so far, and then I... Then I had to cancel my Verve account, but... I'll, I'll try and watch it soon. Um, I'm Hajime Hinata! No! You can be louder than that! Do it again! My name is Hajime Hinata! Please to make your acquaintance! Uh, hi. Don't forget it! Even if you go to hell! I am the ultimate team manager! Nikamaru Nidai! I am going to upset my family by doing this guy. You don't need to repeat your, your name so much. I won't forget it. I mean, he will, but I, but I won't. <laughs> I agree on your terms. <coughs> God, <laughs> he sure is boisterous. It's not like his voice is. It's not just his voice. His whole body seems loud. Yep. Nekomaru Nidai is known as the ultimate team manager. The ultimate team manager, dude. Even he said it. Why are you even asking it? So he's not on a team. He's just. And it's just one? Nope. He's not just a team manager. After all, he's an ultimate. He's traveled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs, managing their teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. 
He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to national victory as well. I heard the I heard the main batter on their team was a redhead. Rumor has it he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who's played in the American League. If that's all true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager, but... <laughs> Nekomaru is one of my faves. Judging by his by his character so far, I think I'm, he might be one of my faves too soon. <clears throat> but with a belt like this, he'd be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. Another fragment! I'll be seeing you later. I got a, I got a, I got a place to explore. Seriously, I know, <laughs> I know it's silly to be geeking out over a first-person view, but it, it's, it just looks really cool. I like it. <laughs> Lawn. I don't get what that means. <coughs> oh, God, my throat. Us Usami Corral. It looks, this looks like a ranch. No, oh, there aren't any many animals here. No! Aw, oh, you found out! You again! Seriously, where do you keep appearing from? You can't spell? Oh, are you trying to say lounge? I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island. It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? Did you talk about that toy she's holding? Hmm, still, I'm quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. Alrighty, just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. What are you doing? I love the music so far. Oh! Perf! <laughs> That's huge success! I just even Monokuma, Jesus. What was all that about just now? A chicken changed it to a cow? That's not it. Ow. Nah, it's probably just some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was all set up before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just... It's just not cool, you know? Or natural. Hey! It's the tiny person who looks like... Junko. I almost said Junko. Aww, she cute! What's this kid doing? He's sitting down and she keeps pressing her fingers onto the floor with all his strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hajime Hinata. The ultimate traditional dancer. That would, exp that would explain the Komodo. Also... Oh my god, I hate her. I have a theory as to, uh, hypothesis as to why, but I'll late save it for when a case happens. She hasn't stopped pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what's she doing? And her appearance and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually, Hyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry... You'll see why very soon. Alright, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed, performed overseas many times. <laughs> Jeez. It seems her performances are so popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. Okay, then. Wow. Alright. It's probably because she looks so young. Her fans probably have all the same niche or something. I don't think that's a good thing in this case. I'm really creeped out right now. Hey, what exactly are you doing? Hmm? Hmm? I'm squishy! Ah! God! I can't go that high! I vocal- My throat is really messed up. Hmm? I'm squishing! Squishing what? 
Oh god, that is <laughs> Get a bunch of chairs. We need to get Chris Hansen to tell her fans to sit in Yeah, seriously, Jesus Christ. Mr. Ant, of course. I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants. That that face. That <laughs> That's a picture of innocence right there. <laughs> Come again. <laughs> if you squish their tummies just right, it makes this awesome sound. Thank you. Wanna do it together? Hell no! Uh, okay. <laughs> you wuss. This kid. Her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. Also, love the toucan. Chop of a bird. That's what I should call it, right? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Well, I mean, it makes sense we're on an island. Yo. Hey, who are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. Uh. Gotcha. Who's this other dude? What? Huh? Haven't we already met? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I pretty much suck at remembering names. Hey, me too! And I've met so many interesting characters today. I'm Nagato Komade. I've already forgotten how to pronounce my own damn name. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Wonder what your ultimate skill is. The ultimate gymnast. I've started to sense a theme between her and Aoi, or Aoi. Well... Though I can't place my finger on it. Akane is known as the ultimate gymnast and an all-around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker. But her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. Komai... 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 Komaeda? Oh! Komai... Yeah, that, I get it now. That's, the, that's how you pronounce his last name, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. If she's in her groove... I... I might need to ask you for your help again if I ever forget. <laughs> Seriously, it's gonna take me a while to remember any of these names. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. How is that self-centered? I don't get it. Oh! Thanks for following! Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. <clears throat> right, man. N. N. P. Night Alert. <laughs> Thanks, Bean. Huh? Now don't tell me you. No oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? Being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's amazing. <clears throat> Usami Corral, huh? I guess it's a ranch. No, it's a corral! Ah! How can that rabbit own a ranch in the first place? Well, I shouldn't think it too hard about it anyways. <clears throat> Based on appearance, it looks like it's just a regular run of the mill cow. What kind of trick is changing a chicken into a cow anyway? Anything else I can talk to or interact with? Blank screen. Yep. Yep, yeah, alright. Well, I just noticed I'm level 3 now. Let's get to going! What the fuck is that? Wait, Central Island? There's more? Well, hold on, let me explore the rest of this island. Oh, wait. Does, does it loop? Oh, yeah, it does loop. Okay, I guess. Let's go. Hajime. Hajime. It looks like if we cro go across this bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is it safe? <laughs> That's what we were going there to find out, right? If it's not safe, then when we get there, then what will you do? I don't know, man, but this prologue is taking quite a long time to get, get finished up. <laughs> it's taking a while to wrap up. God. Alright. <clears throat> oh! Island 5? 
I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a gate blocking it. Hmm. It looks like there's another island on the other side of the bridge, but it seems we can't cross it. And that seems to be the case. What about the other island? Four, three... This is just like Hope's Peak. Goddamn. Goat got the stair... Got the stairway to heaven right there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> What's Jabberwock Park? I swear I've heard the name Jabberwock before. I just don't remember where. What the hell is that thing? So, this is a park. This is... A park surrounded by the ocean. Hmm. <laughs> It feels so nice. Such a laid-back attitude. But if we weren't in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself. Honestly, I'd probably just enjoy it anyways. If being the key word. <laughs> How are your introductions going? I'd like to inform you about another feature. You've already noticed you have a level assigned to you. What's up with that? It's displayed on the top right corner of your screen. Yeah, I see that. Your level increases by performing various actions, such as walking, examining, and talking to others. Every time you level up, you will become stronger than you were before. The number of skills you can equip will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up often. Oh, so instead of just leveling up with skill points, you... Sorry, so it's just instead of just increasing your skill points, you also have... That's cool. That, I like... Ah! Hiccups and burps. I like that. It's a bronze statue of various animals. Plus, it's pretty huge. Amazing! Wow, what a grand statue! Yeah, it's grand, but isn't it also kind of creepy? What? You think so? I think it looks splendid. I mean, check out that horse! I mean, look at it. It probably symbolizes the whole island. It sure is grand. This island's symbol, huh? Yeah, it's good to see you again! What are you? To say hi to you. It's been a while, man. This guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. Hey. Ah, Byakuya. Have time to smell for a small introduction? I still it it bothers me. Why? Why is he fat? What happened? Introduction? <laughs> Come on, Hajime. Um, hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. The ultimate F affluent progeny. Seriously, why is he fat? Ow. I'm done. That's it, right? Back off. I can tell this guy is thumbing his nose at me. Well, I suppose that's Byakuya for you. What do you mean? Actually, that guy is, is particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. It explains, but not so much later. I think it's gonna- does it get explained in Despair Girls? Cause I remember seeing the trailer for that, he was much thinner. He's already begun managing the business operations and his net worth is, well, enormous. Even more so than the ultimate Yakuza, apparently. How admirable. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate afflu affluent- affluent progeny, Christ! He's the epitome of exceptional. It's like a manga origin story. <laughs> you there. Hajime, was it? Eh. Tell me. Why did Hope Speak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Uh, the, the thing is, I honestly can't remember. Why do I get the- I get the feeling this guy's the ultimate detective. What? Not Byakuya. You don't remember? <laughs> Apparently he's lost his memory due to the shock. He can't really remember much. <laughs> How foolish. It wasn't my, in my control, asshat! Um... Yes. I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Listen. Move along. That's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just leave, Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. His build and his overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. And also his arrogance. Is this what it means to be the ultimate afflu affluent progeny? No. So is that everywhere? Like that can't.
can't be everyone, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Did he just commit the first case of skinny shaming? I think he might have. In the lounge at the Oh! Oh shit, I forgot about that. Thank you. Sorry, I <laughs> I can I yeah, I'm dumb. Let's get to going! Woohoo! Oh, I can go to the hotel restaurant. Nice. But right, let's start with the lobby. The lounge. This is the place I'm supposed to go, right? Oh! There are the others. Yeah, even as the inside of this place looks grand, too. I hope nothing bad happens, like murder. If this was really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. Why are we the only ones in the hotel? Now, now. It's an uninhabited island. It can't be helped. You know, despite the fact that there's corrals and a park. Stuff that would obviously mean that this place is inhabited. For an uninhabitable island, this hotel looks pretty well kept. And it seems electricity w won't be an issue. What in the world is going on on this island? Ow, I bit my tongue. Love the little arcade. Ah, no, I didn't mean to go there. Hajime. Yeah, I didn't mean to go there. I meant to click this. This place even has arcade machines. <laughs> Isn't it great? This sure is a grand hotel. It's like we're in an inn in the Hot Springs District or something. Yeah. Hello there! State your business. I'm here to introduce myself. Well, I was just about to... I just want to introduce myself. Is that alright with you? An introduction. Understood. I don't mind. I am Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. My name is Peko Pekoyama. It is nice to meet you too. Peko Pekoyama. The ultimate swordswoman! Oh! Actually, God, I'm hungry. This dignified looking woman is known as the ultimate swordsman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Pekoyama would be so skilled with a blade. Why do I get the feeling that's a Pac Man reference? I've heard she's a kendo master, and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. It appears. If what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. Is it necessary for men and women to live together to respect each other? Don't try anything inappropriate. Jesus Christ. I would prefer not to kill anyone. Hey, same here! Kill? Is that sword on your back made from of bamboo? Yes. Though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a missamed blow can be fatal. True that. It is necessary? What's necessary? Sorry, I, I have the memory of a goldfish, so... Especially when I'm trying to read lines in a voice, there's some things that I just overlook. Well, it ain't a blow can be fatal, too. I'll keep that in mind. Hola! I, judging by that chip in your hair, I think you're the ultimate gamer. There's some girl playing an arcade game, and she looks completely absorbed in it. Hajime. Hajime, you haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? I haven't talked to anyone. You misread a line and got the wrong in interpret interpretation from it. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Um, excuse me. I'd like to introduce myself. Hey! Hey! Jackie! <gasps> oh, sorry. I must have been a little too focused on my game. <laughs> a little? Are you sure about that? Um... Let's see. Oh, right. Introductions. Got it. Gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. Nice to meet you. I like her already. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Yep. 
Oh, I like her already. Yeah, totally. It seems like this conversation is going rather slow. Well, she's into gaming right now. Well? It's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't talk that well unless I'm already prepared to everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. She's still focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play video games at a time like this? <laughs> God damn. That was amazing. I love... <laughs> ah, the order of those, of those lines. Hey, it's the Midget Man! So, this is the hotel restaurant. Amazing. It's enormous. We could easily hold a banquet here. It kind of has a tropical country feeling. Open country feeling, goddammit. Open? Even though we're stuck on this island? Are we really stuck here? What else could it be? Sorry. Oh well. Oh well. Let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look, there are two people talking over there. I am not liking this situation already. That's right. I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Speaking of which, it'd be great if you could... If I could... If you... If you... Who could use your mouth to suck? God, dude! Poison? I see. Hey, do you guys need a moment? Whoa, denied. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Right, then. Alright. Denied. Good day. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Bonk. Yeah, someone get the horny bat, please. Uh, hello. My name is Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. Hello there. Why, hello there. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. But could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? I get ya. I'm gonna go pee. I'll be right back.
Hey, I'm back. What did I miss? <clears throat> also, I got myself some peanut butter crackers, so might be a little bit before I can actually start <laughs> talking properly. Give me a second. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> I hope we can get along. I am sorry. <clears throat> oh, that reminds me. I have not properly introduced myself either. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting. My name is Sonia Nevermind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> the ultimate princess. Okay. Wow. Also, for some reason, whenever it shows their ultimate skill, there's a sound in the back that really sounds like like a, something from Silent Hill. Am I the only one who gets that vibe? Hope not. I am a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Nova Selic. Hope I pronounced that right. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along. <clears throat> Same here. Hope we can get along too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like fields of wheat. It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. <laughs> Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. She's known as the ultimate princess, which means she's actually royalty. Better than Byakuya already. The ultimate princess? Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but... <clears throat> it's not just her beauty, she seems so... She's just so... So I have a theory about Sonia. Go for it. She's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Um, um this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. Huh? What are you happy about? I, I think she's a commentary on Americans. <laughs> what makes you say that? <laughs> In my home country, I did not have a single friend my age who's standing in society match my own. So, to be able to do something like this with everyone in a new experience for me, is a new experience for me. I shall extol your virtues! Extol my virtues? Just keep that in mind when you, as you get to know her. I'll- okay. May not seem like it now. Thanks. <laughs> I suddenly feel the ears are drop on one knee and bow. <laughs> So I get the feeling that when I peel back the layers, there's going to be something more hidden underneath that pristine skin. Hey, you three, am I being left off the menu or something? No, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Terra it's so like you to check. <clears throat> it's so like you to check out the restaurant first. As the ultimate chef, do you like it? <laughs> I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully, yeah, I like it. Well, guess that's about Though, it. I like the big city flavor of my hometown. <clears throat> Sorry. Though I like the big city flavor of my hometown, a country atmosphere like this is also splendid. <laughs> hey, are you... Understand. Refined? Cultured? Guilty as charged? Uh, no, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Excuse me. Worried? What's there to worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get serious real quick, I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pecco is actually a bit of a freak, if you catch my meaning. I catch it, and I wish I didn't. What do you think? What? Bonjour. And she's probably wearing a black thong, too. What are your thoughts on that? I think you should really get some help. And now then, shall we discuss this some more privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on! No, thanks! Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem expected to you, but... I feel like Miss Sonia over there has a good chance of putting up, putting out. You see, everybody knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? Understand. For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. Oh my god, I was- Oh my god! 
What is your problem? Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Um. Pardon me. What are you talking about? <laughs> we'll discuss this later. Jesus Christ, dude. I'd better not see you try that again. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. When it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. <laughs> this guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. Yeah, everyone hates turret. I can see why! My god! Was that a school bell just now? Yes, it oh. was. Hajime, look at that monitor over there. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, everyone! It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. It's no way. I'm... I'm so happy! So, I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. I apologize for the trouble. But please gather at the beach. <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all. <clears throat> Something seems what wrong. To do. <clears throat> she said meet at the beach. Is that gonna be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. <clears throat> Thinking will solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? Half the stuff that guy says could land him in jail. Yeah, seriously. Jesus. Oh, fucking hell. To be honest, I'm really worried. A little, little bit look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. Well, where would you like to go? Um, outside. Glad they had that option. What am I doing? I can just do this. A beach! <clears throat> I love the way everything unfolds. Such ignorance. You guys are the last to arrive. What are you dilly-dallying for? <laughs> Sorry to keep you all waiting. That's fine. Well, that's alright. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves between that rabbit return. Ourselves before that rabbit returns. Thinking don't solve anything. Not you tell before realizing what kind of situation he got himself into. <laughs> Famous last words, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk! Listen. Now then, let me hear your in initial impressions of this island. Now that you mention I happen to notice numerous blocked off bridges on the central island. Oh! Oh! Those are there so ev <clears throat> Those are there so everyone doesn't get lost! I tried to cross one of them, and that rabbit showed up and told me I was told. There. I tried to cross one of them, and that rabbit showed up and told me. So I'm telling the truth. What? So we don't get lost. Is this island really so big? <laughs> but if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, not that I've ever been to a resort before, but. Hey, hey. Also, there's a big ranch. <clears throat> um. There's also a large supermarket, too. It looks like it stocks everything from food and living... Amen... Amen... Amenities? Amenities, yeah. To living in amenities. This is obviously way better than what we did before, where we had to click on everyone just to reiterate what they just discovered. Hmm. The hotel was really nice, too. It'd be great if we can stay there. <laughs> the restaurant inside the hotel was also very nice. It seemed to cater to more... Libyan taste. Hey. Can you guys listen to what I want to say, too? I found something very important on the asylum. Girls! Oh, did this guy say he can't stop? Jesus Christ. Girls! Very, very cute girls. <laughs> All over the place. Bros! I got any goosebumps! <laughs> All of you are fools. I can't believe nobody has mentioned the most serious truth. Huh? The most serious truth? Not possible. If no one here is realizing it, you're all bigger fools than I thought. 
What did you say? You fat bastard! Don't be talking all big and shit! He is big and shit. Such ignorance. Small dog shouldn't bark so loud. Most serious truth. What does he mean? Let's ask him. Hey, what's the most serious truth? Did, did you find something about this island? Hmm. Have you all gone to the park across... <clears throat> Have you all gone to the park that's across the bridge? The park with that weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? Listen. When I saw it, I remembered a story I heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean. A beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. It's also said that five holy animals symbolize each of those surrounding islands. Eh. Listen. That island's name is... Jabberwock Island. Could it be? Could this island be... Well, I mean, they saw it on a sign for Jabberwock Park, so... I mean... I don't see why they're surprised about it. Especially Nagi Nagito. Could this island be... Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of this island? Very strange. Still, there is something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard earlier, Jabberwock Island is already... <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Hold, on. Hold it right there! That's a rather incomplete story you've told us! Don't worry. No need to shout. I'll let you know once I've obtained more information. Uh. Meh. I, could, I don't care what this island's called. Nigga... <laughs> oh my god, I almost just said something really bad. Nico Nico Island or Papu Island or whatever. Doesn't change the fact that we all gotta live here, right? Living together on a tropical island is sure is exciting! I'm sure looking forward to it. Right on. This ain't a bad school after all. Uh, hey, you guys. I like it. Hmm? I like this island too. Can't say the same about the rest of you cretins. Huh? Did I hear something? Hmm. I'm still worried, but I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, since there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, listen, what do you guys- what you guys are saying? We need to say calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hope's Peak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead. No matter what, this is completely weird! Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. Eh. Plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. There's no ship and the planes are just for show. For what I discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Um... And why don't we just swim home? It's there's no way we can swim that far. Show some spirit. Yeah, uh, no. What? Are you stupid? I, I'm telling you that's impossible. Uh, then what if we cut down some trees and make a raft? Oh, okay. Nuh-uh! You can't do that! That's the biggest of no-nos! Please recall the guidelines of this school trip. Littering is allowed, let's go- Oh, yeah, that. Got it? I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this beautiful tropical island! What's with this rules? Who cares about that? That's enough. Stop. This rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? Danger is a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. Hajime, Hajime, I understand you don't feel. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? For now. For now, as long as we don't do anything weird, it seems there's no danger. Yep. As long as we gather the hope. Yeah. As long as we gather the hope fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. But didn't she just say we gathered them all? You're all just gonna believe that? There's no other choice but to believe. For now, that is. Hey, hey! Anyway, you saw me. What's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Ah, yeah. oh, that's right! Well, of course I didn't forget. Hi, love. love, love! This is it! Don't be upset. I've prepared one for you all, so don't worry. What is this? It's an Osami strap! If you squeeze the tummy, it talks! His name's 
cute. Love, love. What a waste of time. Man, I got my hopes up too. I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up. Do you think so? Really? I think it's pretty cute. Especially how the ears look like rabbits. Or like a rabbits, sorry. Well, Usami does mean rabbit, you know. Regardless, a number of Usami's traps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured, after everybody received this trap, they just tossed them to the beach. Hey, you can't na take nature with trash! See? Even you think they're trash! Usami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. <sighs> Ugh, and I even prepared one more present, too. And I don't want to give it to you bad kids. Hmm? You have something else? Well, compared to the Usami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I prepared a motive for everyone. A motive? That's right! A motive for everyone to get along! We've come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island-themed! <laughs> like what? Are you thinking of throwing a big party or something? Ding, ding, ding. Correct! Whoa. Is it a festival? Or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful! Anyway. Excuse me, Miss Sonya. Oh my god, dude! Stop! My loins are still full of poison, I'd appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. Knock it off, Teru Teru. Right. Oh, your tenderloins? You betcha! That's Just ignore him, Sonya. <clears throat> Sorry. Just ignore him, Sonya. If we're talking about fun parties on a tropical island, maybe it should be a barbecue or something. Ah, a campfire sounds fun too. Let's, kill. Let's find a hoop snake and kill it! Is looking for one not enough for you? I see. It seems everyone has a different ideas. I'm sorry. It seems everyone has different ideas, but if we're gonna be at the ocean, then first. Ta da! This is what it's all about. A swimming bag? Love, love. Correct! Love, love! Whoa! Whoa! That means. That's right! I have swimsuits for everyone. Well, school swimsuits, actually. I hope that's okay. Are you telling us to go swimming in a situation like this? Yes. It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything. It's just, if you want to go swimming, you can. There's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be going... So, yeah. There's no way anyone would be so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. Yes. I beg to differ. Eh? That's right. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm... Sorry. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, every Doc and Rumpa player's reaction to Teru Teru. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With weather this nice, there's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. I agree. Even my loins agree. See? For fuck's sake! Right. I thought your Fumi was bad. Your tender loins? I understand. Seriously, don't try to just don't try to understand. Hey, hey. How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? All right, let's go change. Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuit for us from Usami, and ran straight to the hotel to change. Hey. What are you going to do, Hajime? Hajime? I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up for it, I'd be happy to, if you came along too. After you said that, Nagito ran over to the hotel as well. <sighs> There's no danger on this island. There's something tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? So, am I actually wrong? Hmm. Well then, hold on, I just, I just need to see the clip real quick. As soon as it loads. Yeah, you know, like I said, my PC is really old, so it's, it's it kind of struggles a little bit when it comes to doing stuff like this, especially when it's loading a game like Dongadrompa. Apparently. This is gonna take a while.
I really like the music, by the way. <clears throat> Thank you. Excuse me, Miss Sonya. Oh my god, dude! Stop! <laughs> That's the best. That's the best. Oh my god, dude! Stop! <laughs> Anyways, what's I gonna do? Besides, change the freaking sensitivity back. Hey, Yoko. You're not going to swim? <laughs> nah, it's more fun to step on the crabs walking on the beach. I see. She seems like a bit of a sadist. So it looks like she's staying too. That's unexpected. She seems like the more active type. Hey, you're not gonna swim? Huh? Hmm? Of course I am. Why? Then why didn't you go with the others to change? So I don't need to change. All I gotta do is take off my clothes. No, what about your swimsuit? There's no way I'm gonna wear something as embarrassing as a school swimsuit. She's just wrong about so many things. Right. So, let's hurry and swim! With those words, Akina quickly began taking off her- Whoa, hey! I won't forgive you! Hey there! Shameful behavior like that is a no-no! If you're going to swim, you gotta wear a swimsuit! So annoying. Shh, what a pain. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, at least it prevented us from having- It prevented me from having to get banned off Twitch. Thank God. Hey, dude. Don't talk to me. Swimming blows, but talking to you is even more annoying. Mind your own business. Man, he's so blunt. <laughs> ah, speaking of which, everyone has returned! As Asumi said that, I turned around and... I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and... Shouting for joy. I did not know that talking to everyone would result in... That. I was hoping to go back to the hotel and join everyone. Crap. God. Uh, the water is so cool. It feels great. Oh, uh, too salty. This water's too salty. It's not going easy on me. Hey, I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? <sighs> oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? Rubbing lotion on a muscular man. What? Are you gonna not notice me? Khan doesn't have her bandages. I forget who that is. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. Well, I mean, at least he's, is there's that. <laughs> Jesus. Too open, like you're covering too many bases by yourself. <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. Dude, please, fucking stop. What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? He's horny, but at least he's pro At least, at least. I just wish other people were more progressed. <laughs> That's, that was dumb, I'm sorry. Sorry. It feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun. I, I... <laughs> yep, yep, I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other. <clears throat> everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to it, this, but they're all acting like ultimates. I thought this would be hard until everyone... Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's keep up the pace and all do our best to be peaceful... That's the... <laughs> Fuck. To peacefully enjoy this heart-grabbing school trip. Alright. What's this feeling of alienation? Can't really put it into words. Am I really... Wrong about all this? Fine. I just gotta do it, right? Then, I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it! Huh? Hajime? Did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one worrying. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Wait, huh? 
Ah. Suddenly the sky grew cloudy. What the hell just happened? What is this? What's happening? These strange clouds. It doesn't look natural at all. Hmm? Eh? Huh? Hey, what's going on? What did you do? This is obviously not right. It was sunny just a few minutes ago. <laughs> what is this? Huh? I didn't do anything. What is all this? There's no way. Something like this shouldn't be happening. And that exact moment... Just when it seemed like this couldn't get any more confusing, it suddenly happened. Oh, what? Uh, uh, mic check, mic check. Oh, I see. Uh, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hi, buddy. That voice was so laid back and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different than you saw me. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind all that laid- That laid back voice. Oh god no, Winnie the Pooh! <laughs> the moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> surprised? You were totally surprised! Right? Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to voice act the rest of it. This voice. If this is... Oh, this is very bad. I got to do something. I won't let you. It's all up to me. Hey, wait! Very strange. It seems that was an unusual occurrence. Mm. It's best if we go to Dapperbach Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey! Hey, wait! But what about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. Oh my god, freaking Biakio's footsteps. <laughs> Shit. Just what the hell is going on? I'll be really pissed if something's fucking stupid. If it's fucking stupid. God damn it! What is this? What's going on? Okay. Jeffawalk Park, right? Why aren't you going? Aww. Boo! There's just too many Mr. Krabs. Bye. I, 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 I. Fine. I'll just step on them later. You crabs better run while you still can. <laughs> As we arrived at Jepperock Park, Usami's shining voice could be heard ringing throughout the park. I won't let you. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who were you talking to? <laughs> 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 huh? Hey, hey. Hey, hey! Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> there he is, folks! SpongeBob me! Oh God! Hi, buddy. <laughs> Why, hello there! Thank you all for waiting. It's good to see you again. Long time no see, guys. I am Monokuma. I'm the headmaster of this academy. Hi. <clears throat> Ahem. Now that I have my made my dashing appearance. The first thing I need to say is... This is so friggin' lame! Lame, I say! Lamer than the lamest lame sauce! Oh, wait. Lame sauce? Is that tasty? Hey, hey. It's just I thought... It was you! But... How? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence. Ah, shut up! Hey, um... I'm livid, you know! And I'm about ready to barf thanks to your lukewarm attitude! Just what with this heart throbbing school trip crap anyway? I'm bored! So hopelessly bored! Hey. This just ain't fun at all! You better knock off this farce right now! What are you 
You've got to make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is other people's misery and despair. What do you mean Pooh looks a lot different than I remember? <laughs> oh, man. What the hell is this stuffed animal? Nothing he's saying makes any damn sense. What? What's going on? What is that thing? You've met him before! Be careful, everyone! Stay back and leave this to me! I don't know why Monokuma is here, but as long as I have this magic stick... Yeah! yeah! Say, yeah! Opening! Oh, why was there panties? Uh oh. My magic stick. Now then, what to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So I'm gonna make you in my image. <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> this is what happens when you defy me. The fuck is going on? your big brother's fashion sense. Is Monami a little troublemaker? Hey. The big brother? Monami? My little sister. Your current position is too wishy-washy, so I'm sending you to be my little sister, Monami. <laughs> no, this is only an external setting after all. Hey. Well, why do I have to be your little sister? <laughs> big sister then? You want to be the oldest sister that got separated at birth? Hmm. Isn't really fit, right? Oh, she's. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. <clears throat> no, thank you. I'm not into that. So that's what you're gonna be, Monami. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I will never forgive you. How? Oh, even the display changed to Monami. <laughs> hey, I won't let you make up your own settings. Ow. Stupid fool! Do you think you can win against me? No! It hurts a lot when you punch me. Okay then. <clears throat> How about that? Now you've learned your lesson. What? What? Is this? Living stuffed animals fighting each other? That's like completely insane. Uh, if only I still had the magic stick, I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault for leaving yourself open. Even one second of opening is life-threatening on a battlefield. Hey, hey. Hey, what's this, this stupid performance? Uh -huh. uh, who freaking knows? But it's obvious something bad is happening. Oh. Uh, what is this? What's going on? Uh. <laughs> huh? Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking? She matches me now, you know. <clears throat> she matches me now, you know. How insensitive. What the? There's more of them? What did you say? What does this mean? What is that black and white tank tanuki? I am not a tanuki! I'm a bear! I'm Monokuma! What's going on? I I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared. I mean, why is a stuffed animal even talking? Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal! I'm Monokuma! The headmaster of Hope Pig Academy! Monokuma? Huh? Did you say... Headmaster? Anyway... Regardless, 
It appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. From this point onward, the Killing School trip will now commence. Killing School trip. A school trip where everyone gets along has no stimulation at all. And it's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. You guys agree with me, right? So, let's begin our killing school trip! Do your <clears throat> Naturally, you guys are the contestants! K killing contestants? What are you saying? I will absolutely, positively not allow such bloody events! God damn. Jeez. Jeez, your brain is sure is tiny, Monami. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time! Except in manga, the little sister is never smarter than her big brother. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Now then. <clears throat> we got off topic for a while, so let's go back to the explanation of the killing school ship. <laughs> what do you mean? Killing school trip. Isn't it obvious? You guys are going to kill each other. Wow. Kill each other? I see. Kill each other? What are you saying? That's impossible. No. Well, don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave this island unless you get along? So I'm changing the rules. If you want off this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then... Make it through the class trial without getting caught! <gasps> class tr class trial? That's right! That's right! The class trial is the real charm of this killing school trip! Allow me to explain! If one gets murdered, the surviving members must The surviving members must participate in the class trial! At the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the class trial, you will present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will decide by popular vote. And if you arrive at the correct answer, though only the blackened killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. Ugh, crap. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with the murder will survive. And the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as Clash Royale rules go, that's all there is to it. In other words, Which means, if you kill someone to make it through the Clash trial, you get to live and leave the island. However, if you are found guilty during the Clash trial, then you will be punished. <laughs> <laughs> it's a familiar but simple rule, right? What the heck? You keep repeating that word punished over and over. What's the deal with that? Basically, it's an execution. That is... Execution? Oh, God. The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. <laughs> what sort of spine-tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thigamajig claw! Hmm. If Monokuma kills Sonya, he'll have an entire country on his ass. <laughs> that is true. Ahem. Any, mission, any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning. The shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, cursing... Please, choose whichever killing method you prefer. No time limit, so you can kill us, so you can kill as you please. It's an all-you-can-murder buffet. A theme park of murder. That's awesomely pop That's what this killing school trip is all about. I clutched my chest without realizing it, which, with each beat of my heart, a sharp stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Damn it. Don't fuck with me. That's right! Who on earth would kill someone? No way! 
I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. Ah, oh, God. <clears throat> if I do Monokuma's voice for long enough, it really starts to hurt. But be careful! Youth doesn't last forever! It'll be too late if you guys wait until you're in the 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I won't believe. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What's going on? Well, what if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean we'll never leave this island? Who knows? Who knows? Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, I'd like for you all to go through this with this killing school ship in a healthy and positive manner. Well, wait a minute! Why do we have to do this? What's this? <clears throat> well, it's obvious. There's a reason you all need to kill each other. Eh? Hold on! Hold on! You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I have no idea! I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm gonna do it! What? A, what? A fight? Do I need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Let's go. Who would dare try to kill? I'll put a stop to it with force if necessary. If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are going to lose their patience! Fine, fine. Uh, is that so? Well, I guess I expected this reaction. If you guys want to do things by force, then I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own! Hey. Force? What are you going to do? Shurge. Oh, gods who dwell between light and darkness, in accordance with our contract, I summon thee now! Come forth, mana beasts! What? Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh, Lord above! I've seen lots of strange things and surprising things since I first arrived on this island. But still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me was blatantly out of this world. Oh no, it's the Metal Gears. Get Solid Snake. The lolly lolly lo and the cardboard boxes. Huh? Huh? Why did the statue move? That's no statue. They're mana beasts. Monster! No, I just said they're mana beasts. Strange thing about the strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games. And that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of our situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. No! This can't be! This is just too weird! Don't tell me! Am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> oh, why are you happy? <laughs> He says he just admitted his brain is a total flower patch. Jeez, you guys sure are a skeptical bunch. If something doesn't fit with your narrow notions of common sense, you just deny it outright. How stupid! Ignorant cavemen are better than you all. Classifying events according to their gen genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone. everyone, please stand back. I will protect everyone. Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. Her What's this? Blurt! Ah. ah, I know! It's this nausea! Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke! Let's go! Alrighty then! Punishment time! Oh, damn. Alrighty then! It's decided! You'll be my example to everyone! What the hell is gonna happen? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, then. What is that? 
Oh God! Hi, Ikub, Ikub, Ibu, Ibu, Ibuki. Are you okay? <laughs> it's only the first stage, and Monami's already dead. What? Is that a demon? Or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? Monami's had dreadful weapons of destruction. The sudden appearance of a monster. Even though a life-threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not that we didn't realize it was a monster. We were just vastly out of our element. We had never experienced anything like this before, and had no idea how to deal with it. That reality was very lethal at this particular moment. <clears throat> <laughs> That's right! This is what I wanted! This feeling of despair! Giving an example was totally the right call! Of course. Unlike the ex unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten to breathe. We just stood there horrified. <laughs> but everyone seems to be smiling just fine. Just saying. We were powerless. No different than ants washed away in a storm. Well now. now then! I believe I made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me. Just so you know, <clears throat> I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all. An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere. Won't work on me at all. Ah, God. <clears throat> also, in addition to the killing school trip, I've already updated the e-handbook. <clears throat> there, the rules for the killing school trip are written so you... So you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> ignorance of the rules is no excuse. Uh, sorry, ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true of any society, really. Now then, enjoy the remainder of this liberating and hard school trip. After he said his piece, Monokuma and his monobies vanished before our eyes. In truth, I <clears throat> was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had this tired expression on our pale faces. That's what just happened? Um. Uh, um. Um. I won't believe. I, won't I believe. I just won't believe it. That's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> It'd be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. What the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly possible. <laughs> Perfect timing. Well, it's not really impossible. Those mana beasts or whatever, they're called all uh, machines. Thus, Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Then... Who could be responsible? Why were, why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Me. Hey, who is it? Who? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I believe something like that. Anyway. More importantly, are you guys hungry? Well, let's stop thinking about this and just eat. You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confusing or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but we don't need to be cautious of those machines, or even of whoever's controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of ourselves. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. Yakius is a lot more down to earth than he was in the last game. I'm I'm not used to that. We looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what we just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. Which means, in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that a killing may never occur, but... Even I'm no different, so I can 
So can I be truly confident that something like that isn't going to happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. If this nightmare is a situ of a situation, in this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything, even of yourself. That's why I felt hope so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which led a more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun. And this tropical island was the stage. Oh shit! It's introduction. It's intro time. Dengar Rumpa Two. Goodbye, despair. Did someone say suck at control? No, but it doesn't mean we didn't want it. Cause I want it. I can't get over the last name, never mind. Like, holy shit, it's so dumb. Seems about right. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Prologue. Welcome to the Dangan Island. Panic at the heart of the throbbing school trip. 16 students. Oh, damn. Oh! The broken wand. Great. Yes, I'm going to save my current progress. And... I don't know if I'm going to end this episode here. Chapter's over when the strawberry milk spills. <laughs> if the black end is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the black end is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. As a reward, the surviving black end will be forgiven of their crime and allowed to leave the island. The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. Destroying any property on this island will, without permission is, express is expressly prohibited. This includes the surveillance cameras and monitors. <laughs> You are free to investigate this island at your discretion. Your actions in this regard are not limited. Additional school trip rules may be added as the headmaster's discretion. Okay, then. As I raised my head from the e-handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the beast, paralyzed with thought. Is he really going to make us do this? There was no way I could believe that this was my own... This was. N There's no way I could believe that this was my own out. Ah, my God! There was no way I could believe that this was now my reality. There we go, Jesus. Even so, this was undeniably real. No matter how much I didn't want to believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it for myself, it became unbelievably real. This is a reality that could not be more different from my usual daily life. School, studying, exams, job hunting, going for walks, going to school, riding the train, lectures. That kind of daily life is no longer mine. As I looked up, I saw a star glimmering in the night, covering the sky in, like a sheet. They looked as if they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. For the first time since I arrived at this island, 
Instead of the nice guy I've grown accustomed to, I saw a nice guy that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into the night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. A student who murders their classmate will be able to leave this island. When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word, and eventually, everyone scattered and vanished. And it led straight on to the first night, a night so beautiful it enchanted me. And yet my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual daily life. I'm going to hop off for now, but, I'm, but I'll talk to you next time you're on. Oh, thanks, man. Hope you enjoy the stream. Bye. Ding dong, ming mong. Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks to be you. <laughs> but if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. How generous. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you. <laughs> bye bye How generous. Damn, that's ominous. A cottage, huh? Yeah, a cottage. Over there. I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna quit for now. Let me just check on the pet real quick. Alright. Well, that was a stream. This is already getting off to a way bigger start than the first game. Like, holy shit. Like, this is just... Man. I already, I like this a lot so far. And I just, man. I got no other words. I'm excited to see where this goes. But you know what? I'll leave that for the next stream. For now, 